The next one is how to use your gouache medium. So um, gouache is a beautiful paint and it was predominantly used uh, for people doing posters. And you can see in this one here, this is a gouache painting that's done on a piece of wet media acetate. And then what they would do is they would do their animations on their little uh, drawings. Then they'd do another one with the, let's say the puppy dog's ear coming up a little bit, then do another one with the puppy dog's ears coming up. And they would have thousands and thousands of these beautiful little illustrations to create their um, animations. So that's a little bit of history on our gouache. Okay, so your gouache is predominantly a water-based medium, but the coolest thing about gouache is um, if you add water to it once it's dry, you can actually reuse your colour. Whereas, for example, if you use the acrylic paint, you wouldn't be able to do that. So um, I've just squeezed some gouache out there. This is a poster red. I'm going to dip my brush in there and then I'm going to start to have a play. Okay, that looks terrible. You've gone on about this paint, how nice it is, but that's just terrible. That's not how gouache is supposed to be used. Gouache, I've said I had two water containers, one for dirty water and one for clean water. Gouache is designed to have a little bit of water added to it. Now, before I actually go to start to paint on my good piece, I would do, oh, that's nice. Oh, sorry. I would do a little test to check its consistency. So you don't want it to be transparent, you want it to be opaque. Now that's actually a nice color, but let's say I add too much water to it. I'm just gonna put some extra water in there so you can see. It starts to become transparent. So for the point of this exercise, your paint needs to be quite opaque so that you can't see through it. Now the other thing, okay, so you can see how I've done my test. What's wrong with that? Yeah, it's too dry. So I'm gonna take a little bit more water do a little test. And start to have a play. Now the thing about your uh, gouache as well is it doesn't like to be gone over a million times. So if you are a scrubber and there's a time and a place for scrubbing when you work, if you keep working over it, it doesn't seem, the pigments in there don't seem to like it as much. So get your paint to a nice opaque consistency put your paint on and then leave it alone, okay? Now, when you are doing your colors, you'll find that your darker colors tend to dry a fraction darker and your lighter colors tend to go a little bit lighter. So I've also got some yellow out there as well. Now, washing your brushes. So once you've washed your brushes, I would have a little bit of, it's got green in it, oh my goodness. Um, red in here. Now, if you're going to mix your yellow, as soon as you add a smidge of red to your yellow, what are you going to get? Orange, which isn't what you want. My brush has green. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of paint. Check my consistency. Oh, that's nice. Now, so I've got my red and my yellow. What's the next color I can make with these two colors? Orange. orange. Okay, now what I am gonna do here is I'm actually gonna mix my orange on my palette. I'm gonna make that a little bit lighter. Now, oh, let's say I've got my orange. What's the, one, two, three. What's the fourth color I can make on my palette? Ready orange. So sometimes what happens is um, we get to a point and it's like, Mrs. Herbert, is this the right color? Is this the right color? I am suggesting that you actually make, excuse me, your five colors on your palette so that you can test your colors before you make a start. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of water. Okay, so let's say these are my five colors that I'm going to put on them. The problem with this is if you close, um, not close, if you squint your eyes like so, and you look at the colors, there's actually a really big jump here. Okay, so that means those colors aren't correct. So I would probably make this one a little bit darker. 
and then that might, I'd probably make this a little bit more orange and then I would move on to my piece. So, so far before I've even started, I've um, mixed, makes more my colors. My gouache consistency is uh, sorted. I've had a go at mixing, putting up the application of my red and my yellow. Then I've mixed my orange and I've mixed my red orange and I've mixed my yellow orange. And then I've done a little test to see how they work. And then I've worked on to my, moved on to my good one. Does that make sense for people? Okay.